guys are early stage, so you're seeing the interesting stuff. And that's always interesting for me why I love speaking to people early stage VC because you get a pre-look. It doesn't mean you get them all right, but you get a pre-look of the trends and where things really could be happening. So what do you see there outside of the kind of household names that we know already? Yeah, I'll, I'll give one area that I, I personally find really interesting. And, you know, if you believe in a world where there's going to be more automation, more self-driving over time, I think everyone can foresee that world. Well, one of the challenges today is that most traditional GPS sensors, GNSS sensors, um, have high degrees of inaccuracy between within one meter to, in some cases, three meters. And that's due to atmospheric distortion. And what these, this is a traditional Web2 technology called RTK. It's a way where you basically have base stations on the ground that because they're in a fixed space, they can calculate an atmospheric, uh, say, correction factor such that if you have a GPS sensor, you know where you are based on these three you know, satellites, but then you get this fourth upload of the distortion that the atmosphere has you multiply, you know, matrix multiply it out, and all of a sudden, now you can get within one to three centimeters. So literally 10x to 100x improvements in location, all because you have this base station on the ground that's relatively cheap to run. We've seen a number of companies building out these types of RTK networks, um, and you know, one of them out there is. And what does uh, that really, get used for? Drones or you know, yes, what, what is the use for? I mean, things as as fun in retail as you know, robotic lawnmowers, believe it or not, is one of the largest. Yeah, I'm not RTK that. You, you drones, guys just got back from outside. Singapore. People have got robots in restaurants in Singapore. And robots then... in restaurants. I mean, because here's the thing. If you're trying to design a, a self-driving system, you need to have some basis of where you're starting at. And then you use uh, image recognition, LIDAR, and other technologies to get more specific in where you are. And so if you can start, instead of this you know, one to three meter space, start with one to three centimeters. Well, now your sensors, can you reduce your sensor requirements because you have better information and in where you actually are in physical space, right? So robots on the ground, um, and up drones, self-driving cars, all of these are used or can benefit from improved atmosphere correction, right? And understanding where they are in space. So like, that's a really interesting one that Mike and I spent a lot of time on. Geonet, mind the sky. 